صلى الله عليكم قول السائل ما الفرق بين الفسوق والظلم والنفاق وهل تجتمع مع بعضها البعض الفسوق هو الخروج عن طاعة الله على نوعين فسوق كفر وفسوق معصية فسق دون فسق والنفاق كذلك نفاق أكبر اعتقادي وهو إظهار الإسلام وإبطان الكفر ونفاق عملي وهو أن يكون الإنسان مؤمنا ولكن يحصل منه بعض صفات المنافقين مثل الكذب في الحديث والخلف للوعد ولا والكذب في الحديث هذا نفاق عملي ما هو ما هو نفاق اعتقادي تجب التوبة منه وهو لا يخرج من الملة والكفر كفران أيضا كفر أكبر يخرج من الملة وكفر أصغر لا يخرج من الملة مثل لا ترجعوا بعد كفارا يضرب بعضكم رقاب بعض هذا الكفر هذا الكفر الأصغر العملي الكفر العملي ليس الكفر الاعتقادي مخرج من الملة يعني قتل النفس وإن كان كبيرة لكنه لا يخرج من الملة نعم بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الأحباب شيخ علامة صالح بن فوزان ابن عبد الله الفوزان حفظ الله تعالى was asked what is the difference between فسوق and ظلم and نفاق فسوق meaning uh, wicked sins ظلم meaning oppression نفاق meaning hypocrisy and do they uh, are they is one combined inside of another are they uh, do they come together Alama bin Fusan hafidhullah ta'ala responded by saying fusuq it is to leave obedience to Allah and it is uh, it has two different types fusuq uh, fusuq kufr or fusuq masiya so he said uh, and it's of two types the uh, sinfulness which is actually a, a type of disbelief and then the sinfulness which is uh, or, or the, the wickedness which is sinful meaning the fisk duna fisk or the lesser type of fusuk and nifaq likewise it is nifaq akbar it uh, you know there's the the major uh, hypocrisy which has to do with belief and it is outwardly adhering to Islam and inside having a belief of disbelief. So basically, that is full hypocrisy, hypocrisy, ittiqadi. Uh, and he said, when nifaq amali, and the nifaq or hypocrisy that deals with your deeds, it is when that a person is a, a believer, however, they fall into some characteristics of the hypocrites. For example, they lie when they speak, or they don't do not fulfill their promises, uh, and lying when they speak. He says this hypocrisy, uh, which has to do with actions, uh, it is not... Uh, uh, the hypocrisy that has to do with belief. So it is an obligation to make toba from it, but it does not take you out of the fold of Islam. And kufr is also of two types. Kufr al-akbar, which takes you out of the fold of Islam, meaning the major kufr, and kufr al-askar, which does not take you out of the fold of Islam. And then he mentioned the ayat, la tarju'u badi kufaran يَضْرِبُوا بَعْضُكُمْ رِقَابَ بَعْضُ He mentioned the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and do not, uh, 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 do not return to, uh, to disbelief by uh, cutting the necks one of you 
uh, cutting the necks of others, uh, of uh, cutting the necks of one another. He says, this is Kufr al-Askar. This is the minor Kufr al-Amali. This is Kufr al-Askar al-Amali. This is the minor disbelief, which has to do with actions. It is not the disbelief, ittaqadi, related to your belief, which takes you out of the fold of Islam. And that is because killing someone, uh, even if it is one of the major sins, it does not take you out of the fold of Islam, meaning you're still a, a Muslim, a sinful Muslim. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.